Welcome back, baseball fans, and we've got the baseball game today for you. Um, we are in the Winter Baseball Classic, a 16 team tor tournament, 16 fictional teams and real cities scattered all over the globe, I guess. And um, we looked a little bit in the previous video of a mock up of Coney Island Cyclones, and they're going to be playing today. We are in a game six of a best of seven. Halifax, the opponent, uh, is up three games to two. So uh, if Coney Island loses today, that will be the first of two eliminations in a double elimination tournament. So they want to avoid that if possible. Um, looking at these teams really quickly, you'll see that they are going to be some Hall of Famer All-Stars sprinkled in. Halifax has Rod Carew on their team. Billy Williams is here, George Scott, Thurman Munson, a rookie Thurman Munson, Don Wilson, a rookie Vita Blue is all, who was very bad. He had a 660 ERA. Coney Allen brings in Boog Powell, Brooks Robinson, who had a bad year, uh, Jim Palmer, who missed part of 1969 with an injury, I believe, and uh, Steve Hamilton's a good closer. So let's get into it. We got some baseball, even though it's, uh, these are all 1969 cards for the Winter Baseball Classic. Uh, point of these games is again to take a look at some of these lesser players and see if they could possibly get into the Summer League. All right, Rod Carew leads it off, rolls the first. Jesus Alou pops the first. And Tim McCarver, one nine, double one of 10, single. I forgot, because I haven't done these games in a while. That I show you who who the first, who the um, starting pitchers are. So for the Halifax team, Stan Bonson is on the hill. He went on the rotation for the oh, Yankees that year. And for Coney Island, they will send their number two guy, which is Paul Edmondson, who had a short career for the Chicago White Sox. He's actually. Uh, taking the roster spot that Tom Seaver had, as Seaver is in the Carryover League and not present today. So, Bonson Edmondson, game six. Let's get to the bottom of the first inning now. Oh, did, did I get the final out? No, I'm sorry. I jumped the gun again. Darren Johnson. Rounds are short. Okay, there we are. All right, bottom of the first inning. Jerry Kenny. 37 is a base hit. Uh, let's take a look at Jerry Kenny's card. Again, this are trying to see, you know, so this guy could not get into the summer league, but pretty versatile guy. Good defense at third and then center field. Not much of an arm. He's got the top line you like, A, A, B. Stealing, bunting, hitting, running. As a lefty, he's not vulnerable to lefties, really. He's a 256 hitter, something like that. 257 hitter. So maybe he does get into the league since he is versatile and knows how to make contact and uh, can bunt, hit, and run, all that fun stuff. So he's on a first base here. McCarver's got a plus two arm, so Kenny's gonna try and steal. And he is gun down stealing. Oh, there goes that feel good story. Easy Ed Brinkman, one five, five left. And Walt Williams, 46, single one of 13, is a base hit for Walt Williams. Let's take a look at Walt Williams' card. It's a 300 hitting card. Yeah, it's hard to believe he wouldn't be in the summer league, uh, but basically, he basically just hits 300. Not much power, not many walks. You know, yeah, he's fine. He's a decent player. You wish he had power, you wish he had some walks, wish he could throw better and was maybe a two, but yeah, he's good enough to get in the league, certainly. Just has had a lot of stiff competition to this point. All right, with two outs and a man on, it's Boog Powell, and these guys are left. All right, we go to the second inning. Billy Williams rolls second. George Scott lines a third. Bill Voss walks. And Jim Ray Hart bounces to second. This is Qualici, who is a 3-4 e at second base, and he makes the play. Bottom two. Rick or Rico Joseph, depending on if you look at the strat card or if you look at baseball reference. One is Rico, one is Rick. So there you are. He flies left. Dave May, not a good year for him. Rolls first. 
And B Rob, Brooks Robinson, 37, rolls short. We go to third. Daryl Cheney, 36, is a K. Rod Carew, 412, pitcher. And J slash Jesus, L O, 35, rolls a third. Pitchers are on mark today. Jake Gibbs, 2 5, second. Frank Quilici, 6-10, third X. This is George Scott at third base, a 324. That's going to be a base hit for Quilici. Here's Jerry Kenny. 1-7, walks. Two on, one out for Easy Ed Brinkman. Bounces to third. Again, it's going to be Grand Ball C this time. Second, third, two outs for our boy Walt Williams. A nice timely hit here would look good in your resume, but he skies the center field. We're in the fourth, scoreless. McCarver. Guys in center field. Darren Johnson, 48. Base hit. Billy Williams, K. Some with two outs. George Scott, short. Good pitching for Paul Edmondson. That's good to, that's good to hear. Um, Boog Pal, 2-5. We'll take a look at Boog's card because he just cracked one. You're wondering, what's Boog Pal doing here? It's because in 1970, I believe he was the most valuable player. So that's why his 69 card is still here, not in the carry for league, because the 70 card is. So that is a solo home run for Boog, and we got a one nothing game. Rick Joseph, base hit. Let's take a look at him now. Um, nice card against righties. Look at that. With power, on base, you know. Versatility, first, second, and third. Not particularly well at any of those, but... I kind of wish it was flipped. I wish he hit that well against lefties and was so-so against righties. This reverse kind of platoon advantage is kind of sometimes difficult to get into the league. Dave May, 47. There's the base hit to center. Joseph Holds, two on, nobody out. Brooks Robinson, 2-7. Base hit in the center field. Joseph, 11 runner, will hold. Trouble for Bonson in the fourth. He loads the bases, there's nobody out. Playing back for Jake Gibbs, 69, is a walk. Bonson in a whole bunch of trouble now. Bases are still loaded for Quilici. Still playing back, 55. Sack fly to right. First and second, one out. Jerry Kenny, 45, short X. Daryl Chaney's a 3E44, short. And he kicks that ball. Not looking good for Halifax today. Uh, bases are loaded for Easy Ed Brinkman, 1-5. Left be question mark. Do I ever want to run Brooks Robinson or not? He's a one to ten runner. No, let him sit there. Because again, let's get a nice timely two out hit from the number three hitter Walt Williams here. And he, this guy's right. Anyway, they bat around. They get an error to help out. It's three nothing. We're in the fifth. Bill Boss three ten second. Jim Hart one ten left. Daryl Cheney one three center. All right, they're gonna have Boog again lead off the inning, like last inning. Bounces to short, and he's out. Rick Joseph, Case, Dave May, 112. Let's take a look at Dave May's card. Not a very good one. Hit uh, 242 with it. I guess the best thing to say is that at least his hitting is against righties, so you don't really mind that He's terrible against lefties because he won't play, so you pick up 9% in the batting average in that regard. Uh, he's a 2 with a minus 2 arm, which is nice, but the E16 is not very good. C Steeler is not... Oh, yeah. yeah, he's This card probably won't get in the league. It'll be a few more years before Dave May is good. Uh, in this particular instance, that is excuse me, a solo home run, and it's 4-zip. Brooks Robinson, 4-10, left. All right, Bonson, 4 nothing game. Sixth inning, Rod Carew, 3-10, 1-17 base hit. We haven't shown a Halifax hitter yet. Let's look at Rod Carew. And again, another Hall of Famer. And that's because his this card is 332. In the Carrier League, we have a 70 card, which it's 366, I believe. So that's why you see Carew here. All right, he's on at first. Down four, he'll just stay there. JLU, 2-5, pops a short. Tim McCarver, 3-10, right. 
Darren Johnson to 11, flies to right. This is great news for Paul Edmondson. A starter seven, a quality start, a shutout, and probably will get into the league because the league needs a flush of pitchers. What Edmondson brings, if he gets into the league, is that uh, he's like a patch. He comes in for a year and then his career will be over. So you can replace him with somebody else. But at least he'll, this is a decent enough starting pitcher to get into the carryover league for a year. Let's take a look at some relievers. So Bonson will exit after five innings. I'm going to pass over Vita Blue. No reason, because it's a nameless card. But statistically, in his rookie year, well, not really his rookie, I guess he threw 42 innings. I don't know if that was too many innings in 1969. But um, for him to lose his rookie status the following year. But he had a 6.64 ERA. Uh, we're going to skip right over that. Um, we're going to go to, we'll go to Ron Law. Take a look at this guy. He's not very good, but he'll pitch the sixth inning. Jake Gibbs, 56, flies left. Colici walks. Jerry Kenny, 35, center. Ed Brinkman, 36, triple one to four, single dot dot, runs on the corners, two outs for Walt Williams, looking for that two out hit for the third time in a row. And he finally gets one off the pitcher's card of Ron Law. Lots of base hit in a right field. That will bring a run in. It's now five zip. Coney Allen likes playing at home. And Boog Powell with two outs, passes to short. This is Cheney, makes the play. Nice five nothing game. Paul Edmondson, we'll let him pitch into the seventh inning. With a shutout, Billy Williams, 57, center. George Scott, 310, is a walk. Bill Voss, 29, base hit. Let's take a look at Bill Voss. He just singled. Interesting card. Um, uh, defense and arm range, fantastic. Um, can hit righties? Okay. No power. This is a 261 hitter in almost 375 plate appearances. All against righties. I'm not sure if this card's going to make it into the summer league though, because without power and enough batting average, I, the defense is fantastic. I wish he was a two in center field, not a three. But uh, yeah, he 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 might, you know, get into the draft in one of the later rounds, possibly. You got runners of the corners with one out. Edmonston still fighting for a shutout, so they're going to bring it up for Jim Hart. 110 lefty question mark. Do I want to want run George Scott? Ah, oh, he's got to. 116. And he gets thrown out on a 20. So, who was that? Tom Tresh, who was playing. Actually, that was Walt Williams in left. Sorry about that. The wrong number there. Uh, he guns him down at the plate. A 992 double play. Preserves the shutout. So, 5 nothing. Bottom of the seventh, we are listening to Coney Island Baby from Lou Reed, 1976. Okay. Stretch time, bottom of seven. Uh, log pitched an inning. Let's turn it over to Dick Ellsworth in the seventh. He's a lefty. Take a look at him. Ellsworth, I believe his 70 cards are already in the league as well for Toronto. All right. Uh, so the batter's Joseph. We're going to have a pinch hitter. Take a look at some more players. Ron Davis will bat for Rico Joseph. Take a look at him. Uh, you know, we just see a lot of the guys like this. A nice range, arm. The e braining's not good. He's got no power. Hits lefties okay. Gets on base against righties. This is a 234 hitter. I really doubt this guy will get into the summer league, but here he is today. Ron Davis is batting 57. Bouncer to short. Cheney's a 344, it's a base hit. As soon as I talk him down, he gets on base. All right, Dave May can't hit lefties, so let's spare him that and replace him with an interesting card that I like. Let's take a look at this one. Tom Tresh. particularly like this card uh, as a shortstop who is a switch hitter who has power both ways. And when he struggles getting on base, he does have the ability to walk a little here. And he's a two in left field as well. So he's near the end of his career anyway. 
Um, this would be a neat card to get into the league. Uh, I wouldn't expect a lot of production, but I do like all the different uh, boxes it checks off. Switch hitter, can play both ways. A shortstop who is a three and can play two, be a two in left field. That's a lot of options. Trash, two, seven, and there's a walk. Two on, no one out, Brooks Robinson. Two, seven for Brooksy is a walk. They're loaded. For uh, Jake Gibbs, he can't really hit lefties, so Duffy Dyer will pinch it with the bases loaded. 1-7 is a K. Frank Kulichi, they're going to bring the foot up in a 5 nothing game. Kulichi, 1-8, pops out. And with two outs, it'll be our, our guy, Jerry Kenny. 39, and he grounds out. And it stays 5-zip. Edmondson, throw in the shutout. I'll take him out anyway. Seven fantastic innings. We'll get to the back of the uh, the point of these games. I, I know competitively you want to win, but uh, you also want to take a look at some players. Eddie Fisher will pitch the eighth inning. Let's take a look at him, and it'll be Cheney, 48 is a walk. Carew, 38 is a flat right. JLU, 411 flies the right X, and major placement was also a two. Makes the catch. And McCarver won four first. All right, we'll go to the third and final reliever in the eighth for Halifax. It's Daryl Patterson filling in at closer today. Take a look at him. Uh, you know, doesn't give up a lot of hits, does he? Um, with all those walks, it's, it, you'd like to have him start an inning. That way, if he gets in trouble, I would hate to have guys, runners on base, and bring this guy in and just make it a mess. Um, as a righty who gets the lefties out, and this card might get into the league. So, at least a righty who doesn't give up hits to lefties. Here's Ed Brinkman in the eighth. He pops out. Walt Williams, single one to eight. There's a single. Boog Powell, one four, center. And with two outs, it's Ron Davis again. AKs. All right, we'll go to the ninth inning here now in a 5 nothing game. And uh, Coney Island will go to their closer, Steve Hamilton. Let's take a look at him. Great year in 69-70. He, he pitched well out of the bullpen in this era. Um, his 71 card, he has no on bases against left-handed hitters. That's why that card's in the carrier for league, not this one. So in the ninth inning, it's 5 nothing. Darren Johnson, 65 center. Billy Williams, 1-7. It's going to be a single. George Scott, 39 a walk. Batting for Bill Voss, who can't hit lefties, will be... Let's take a look at Jose Herrera. Jose, 59, second C. And with two outs... Second and third, Jim Ray Hart. Is there going to be a shutout today? Sky is the center field. This is our boy Jerry Kenny. If he can catch this ball, we got a shutout. And Jerry can't catch the ball. Boy, Jerry, you're really blowing your chance to get into the carrier relief there. Um, that's going to be a single, a two run single, with two outs in the ninth inning. And now settling, it's five to two. And Daryl Cheney. 312 for Daryl Cheney is a strikeout, and there's your ball game. 5 to 2, Coney Allen staves off elimination, evens this best of seven series, three games apiece. So you get competitive baseball when everybody has a mishmash of occasional Hall of Famers and lousy guys combined. Let's do the box today for this one. The story really was Paul Edmondson trying to get into the Carrier League as a starting pitcher. And um, so Hamilton gives up two earned runs on a walk in the ninth with a strikeout. Eddie Fisher walked the guy. Hamilton did everything else in seven innings. He gave up just four hits, one, two, th four singles through seven shutout innings, two walks, and two strikeouts. Nice work, Paul Edmondson. Patterson gave up a hit and a K. Ellsworth, a hit, two walks and a K. And Ron Law, two hits are running a walk. Not a good day for Stan Bonson. 
eight hits, four runs. Aided by a error in that game, we're gonna we're gonna say two of those were earned. Two walks and a strikeout. Give him the loss. One double oh nine, oh one oh eight, five twelve, two six. Four three five three. Okay. Game six of a best of seven is in the books. Hmm. Kind of show what the stats look like for these teams. Basically, these, this series is the only series played thus far, so the year-to-date numbers for the entire league are reflected in these two teams' stats. Halifax and Coney Island. So, Coney Island's a course three and three. They're hitting 253, the 225 team ERA, showing that the pitching's ahead of the hitting. And Halifax, 266, so 363 ERA. And so when you combine those numbers for the six games, year to date, all the way down here at the bottom of the league, we find that in this particular series, the combined batting average is 259, and the ERA is a rather remarkable 294, which shows that there's a lot of really bad hitters in this series. I know there's some good pitchers, but that's a little, you know, the summer league and the fall league the league ERAs were anywhere between 415 and 440. So that's it for today. Thank you for checking out a winter baseball classic game. We'll bring more of these before the summer league draft begins. Thank you for checking out the videos. We'll see you next time.